you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Courtside Financial, the channel where we talk about business and technology. Now, yesterday was the 4th of July, so we took yesterday off, but we're back and we're here to talk about a very exciting topic around NEO, which is their recent delivery numbers. I'm very excited to share this news with you guys and give you my opinion but if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos make sure you hit the like button because that really does go a long way in helping out the channel and click that notification bell icon your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel Okay, so it's time to share some pretty exciting news, everyone. According to Deutsche Bank, NEO could be delivering 20,000 vehicles per month in the third quarter. Now that's a huge improvement and a pretty impressive milestone for the Chinese electric vehicle maker. Now, you know, I've been saying this for quite some time now, even throughout all the negativity, but as with any growing company, there are ups and downs along the way. For the longest, it feels like we've been in a downward cycle where optimism about NEO was pretty hard to find. Well, it looks like the tide is now turning. Today, we'll delve into the details and discuss everything that's happening with NEO. In a surprising turn of events, Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers experienced an unexpected increase for the month of June as far as deliveries. This could indicate a return to more typical consumer behavior and pent up demand being released from consumers who have been waiting for prices to drop. It's an encouraging sign for the EV industry as a whole. Now let's take a look at Wei Zhao Li's deliveries for the month of June. For anyone who doesn't know, that's Xiaopong, Li Auto, and Neo. We Auto, one of Neo's competitors, delivered a whopping 32,575 vehicles. That's an increase of 15% compared to the previous month and an astonishing 150% year over year growth. Impressive, right? Neo, on the other hand, delivered 10,707 vehicles in June, showing a 74% month over month increase. However, it experienced a 17% decline compared to the same period last year. Nevertheless, this upward trend is promising for NEO and its investors. Another significant player, Xpong, delivered 8,620 vehicles in June. This accounts for a 15% month-over-month increase, although it does represent a 44% drop compared to the previous year. Nonetheless, Xpong's performance indicates some positive signs as well. Li Auto has once again led the pack of upstarts, setting a new monthly record. Meanwhile, NEO experienced a notable increase in monthly sales thanks to the rapid production of the ES6 model. Additionally, both NEO and Xpong are under pressure to generate significant growth in the second half of the year, according to Deutsche Bank, with the introduction of new vehicles, while Li Auto aims to maintain and build on its foundation as far as delivery. The ES6 seems to be scaling up well, and with a full month of the ET5 touring production ahead, that seems like a positive sign for NEO for the month of July. Edison Yu, our guy at Deutsche Bank, an analyst at Deutsche Bank, even predicts that NEO will be delivering 20,000 uh, vehicles per month in Q3 this year. This forecast is based on price decreases and a flood of new vehicles hitting the market. Moreover, the insurance database's data further support these claims. Now let's break down these numbers a little bit to ensure an understanding here. If we look at the week of June 26 to July 2nd, then you can see that NEO is delivering about 585 vehicles per day. If you extrapolate this data over 30 days, that puts NEO at 17,550 vehicles delivered per month, 30 days in a month typically. Keep in mind that NEO is still ramping up production on their newer platforms, so being optimistic here makes sense. Let's take a look at what I believe will be NEO's best seller for a while, the ES6. As of now, it stands at number 10 on the best selling list with 1,900 vehicles sold. The new ES6 was launched on May 24th and seems to be in the midst of its capacity ramp up phase. It's a prime example of NEO's potential and gives a glimpse of what's to come, at least until the new EC6 arrives, which I believe can be their best seller. That wraps up our discussion on NEO's recent delivery numbers. It's undoubtedly an exciting time for the company with positive momentum building up. As always, we'll continue to keep a close eye on NEO and provide you guys with updates. Thank you for joining us today at Courtside Financial. If you enjoyed this episode, 
Like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell icon, and leave a comment down below. Your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.